I V M. Long, long ago, not in Bethlehem, but in a place nearby, there was a wonderful birth of a huge show, which I like to call Cyrus Says, a show that encapsulates everything in human history, from the first Homo sapien to the last Homo sapien. Uh, who's traversed the entire world and then come back to India? This is a show which tells you everything about everything. If you want to know, avoid Google. Come to us. It's called Cyrus Says. Get new episodes every Monday and Thursday on the IVM Podcast app, website, or wherever you get your podcasts from. It's simple as A B. Oh God, what comes after that? Cyrus Says is brought to you by Setu Your Gut. Hi, you're listening to IVM Daily. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of IVM Daily, a show where IVM staffers talk about what's going around the world and what's going around in their mind. Today in the studio, I have with me Janam. Hi. So me and Janam have been feeling very, very introspective and reflective about some of the bigger questions in life. So, yeah, <laughs> you that's know, true. When we when we daydream, sometimes it's not only about food; hmm. uh, it's some, sometimes about some serious stuff too. So today, the question we are talking about is like, how do we actually define success? Like, what is success? So Janam, how about you know we hear about what do you think it is first? So. Uh I feel success means obviously it means different things to different people. Personally, I think it's a very misunderstood term. Most of the people, if you say you know what according to you is being successful, um, they either respond with you know if I get the dream job, if I get a promotion, if I get the perfect body, that's what they define success as. I feel uh, if you're chasing fame, money, power. You're not on the right path to success. So uh, I would like to quote Jim Carrey. I read this quote with many years back, and it's really stuck with me. He says, uh, "I think everybody should get rich and famous and do everything that they ever dreamed of, so that they can see that it's not the answer." And uh, very profound. Yeah, it is. And uh, after see, after uh, you know, after reading this quote and after experiencing certain things in my life personally, I. I feel sorry for the people who lust after money and power, and uh, I'm not saying money is not important. It is, but uh, if that is the only driving factor in your life, you're in for a life of misery. Mm. And uh, I mean, just uh, consider the people we like as society consider, uh, you know, successful successful people. Like take an example of Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or uh, Mukesh Ambani. These people. Um, you know, uh, if they are successful, why are they still working? They right. should have just called it off, right? The thing with success, this kind of success, is there's no upper limit to it. There's no end to it. So yeah, if you're after materialistic things, that's not success. Now you'll come to me and say, okay, I'm not a materialistic person. I am happy. I consider myself successful if I find the right partner. If I, you know, if I have a nice family. If I get a pet, sure. that's what makes me happy. The thing is, uh, eventually, even if you're uh, you know, measuring of success uh, based on these parameters, you're still chasing something that is temporary. And uh, I think equating happiness with success is another uh, misconception. Yeah, is it is another misconception because um, the fact that you're chasing something means only means that you lack it, and okay. that lack of it is what source of misery again. So this this is a very well stated in Alan Watts books uh, if you read any book by Alan Watts he's a brilliant author he writes about life in general check out what he has to say it'll make a lot of sense to you and um uh, yeah so now coming to what success is i've just defined yeah. what success is not it's like you go on tinder what are you looking for not, not hookups like yeah. what are you looking for <laughs> yeah so now coming to what success means to me uh i would say being at peace and harmony with myself which means um like to to specify that um not chasing anything or not wanting anything yeah just just being content with where i am and um, yeah so the thing is no matter where you go or what you do there's always going to be someone doing better than you someone who's earning more than you right. someone who's more popular than you sure. or talented whatever so there's no end to this desire uh and the moment you compare yourself to other people that's where again the unhappiness in you you know mm. uh, springs up so yeah i will i consider success as uh, you know being at peace and harmony wherever i am and uh, reaching a state that no matter what life throws at me 
not reacting to situations but observing what i feel about it so like if if i'm in a situation where something causes anger in me i do not react with anger but just observe the anger this is something and you actually learn in vipassana right exactly yeah. exactly i was just coming to that uh-huh. so um, so yeah that that uh, basically leading a life of vipassana principles is what is success for me okay but i mean uh, but uh, couldn't one argue that if someone does live like that then they don't have any kind of ambition uh, none, none like like if the whole of humanity uh, took success to be meaning that we would never ever grow as a ra- like a race or a you know you know what i yeah, mean yeah yeah right? yeah i completely agree with what you're saying in fact that's where the contradiction comes in because exactly. um, i mean the only reason the human race has grown is because there's been a lack of something or there's you know there's a, there's been a need to fill the gap for something and there's a desire to like yes desire create something lacking something yeah create something yeah. innovate something somehow that misery has actually pushed us forward it has it has that's yeah. how nature works uh huh but yeah that's that's what i'm saying that's where the contradiction comes in what you said is a very valid point uh uh-huh. um the human race is driven by ambition and the need to do something which is but i mean is, i'm sure there are a lot of ambitious out, uh, ambitious people out there listening yeah. to this podcast yeah, and it, i don't think it's completely valid to say that their like uh, their need to be ambitious or to reach somewhere in life that is a uh, invalid uh, view of success you yeah know? yeah i'm not saying that's wrong me personally i am also an ambitious person like in my career i have certain ambitions i'm not saying i'm not but <laughs> i know i'm sounding very contradictory here but again what my 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 underlying point is that if you're defining your life solely by money power and fame solely yeah ah, that's the key word yeah, over there yeah yes yeah. that's not uh, I don't think you're on the right path to success if you are basing your life on these things. Mm-hmm. But if you're looking at the larger picture of your own life, then uh, yeah. So I mean, uh, success—it's a very, very complicated uh, topic to actually be talking about Agreed. because everyone has their own views of it, hmm. and maybe even the right view is not good for humanity as a whole. And whoa, we're getting like super deep over here. Uh, but uh, I would like to say that. success is something uh, personally hmm. uh, i like to see it as uh, if i look at it in macro way i'm going to always be oh i'm unsuccessful because in a macro sense hmm. each person is unsuccessful at something or another yeah. but if you look at it at a micro sense like what am i successful at hmm. if we break down our life into those terms yeah like even, what have i succeeded at in sure, life sure sure what yeah. have i succeeded at in life or hmm. even if you look at your life as Okay, what am I better at today than I was at yesterday? Yeah, you know, and I don't say I don't think comparison is all bad if you're doing comparison with yourself. Hmm. You know, comparing you to yourself previously, if you're improving, yeah. then brother, you're on the right track in life. I I, I completely agree and, with uh, that. That's the best way to grow. I feel compare yourself to your past self. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's very very difficult. See how far you've come. It's very very difficult to live with. Uh, A, a, a definition of success which involves uh, needing nothing or wanting nothing from the outside world because mm-hmm. regardless of how much of a independency we can have from the outside world something some forces from the outside world like family friends mm-hmm. people we have connected before we took on this philosophy they have become dependent on us in a certain manner either for emotional support or you know just being there you yeah. know and and they also have some expectations which are linked to us hmm. and uh, i'm not uh, advocating that you know it's good or whatever but uh, it's like w- the this kind of success i think is something you can reach once you have everything else set in place in life and uh, if anyone any like millionaires out there you know who just want to donate all their money <laughs> uh, i'll send you my bank account details you can dm me later and you can try the successful <laughs> way of living <laughs> uh i mean i don't want to take any seriousness away from the topic i think it's brilliant what you have said uh thanks goro <laughs> that's it you got my validation <laughs> i <laughs> you feel, are I successful. feel successful yes <laughs> i have succeeded um, in today's daily episode yes so uh what else yeah i, I would actually like to uh, conclude with uh, dalai lama's quote he says uh, everyone wants to lead a peaceful happy life but happiness and success aren't measured by how much money you have but by whether you have inner peace in your heart and that's pretty much what i explained yeah. I, can't, earlier. i i can't yeah. argue with him yeah, yeah for sure 
Yeah, so like my and the Lai Lama is like my guy I follow on Twitter. He actually yeah. tweeted this. So like, <laughs> yes. Amazing. Yeah. So that was our episode on success. Hopefully you guys thought this episode also was a success. If not, doesn't matter. We are content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but please do give us your feedback on Facebook, Twitter and uh, Instagram. Our handle on all three is at IVM Podcasts. You can use the hashtag IVM Daily and we will find that post. If you want to connect to me individually, my Instagram handle is at Aya underscore G and Janam. I'm on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Janam Devan. Until next time, guys, have a successful life. Bye. Peace. There she stands, a podcast addict. Outside the bank, having traveled several miles to get in with other poor souls like her. The journey, though daunting for this youngling, will have some comfort because she has downloaded her favorite podcast. You can see more of her species on ivmpodcasts.com, your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.